Alright everyone, when you look at the photographs behind and you look at this box, you might be thinking this is going to be a cool model. But there's probably a good chance that you're going to think I'm just a moron as usual. But, you know, I like to do crazy things and here we are. So this brand is called VIP Scale Models. I know they do like a Tesla and some other, maybe an Aventador or something. Very sturdy box. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. Well, I've been uh, getting into the whole deformed, super deformed look. The cartoon tuned vehicles. You can blame Hot Wheels for that. But, uh, yeah. So we have this thing. It's an RWB Porsche 930. And uh, let's take a look. So this case, I think it's taped together. Yeah, there's some tape here. It's screwed down by two bases, two screws, I mean. And it uh, looks like the base is made of acrylic, like uh, two pieces glued together. All right, come on. All right, so that cover is quite loose, you know, so definitely gonna have to tape that up after the fact. Then we have this uh, nice photo-ish uh, nameplate here. Uh, it's got VIP scale models there. RWB993. Well, that's uh, odd. The box said 930. See, look at this. It says 930. Right? I'm not crazy. Actually, I am crazy, but this time... Uh... So that's a little weird. Anyways, uh, seems to be a limited run or something. So... Now, in this thing we have an extra set of wheels, so we have six spokes versus five spokes, and then we have this rear two wing options, so I'm going to put a wing on because uh, it looks a little weird without one of the rear wings. This must be taped together. No, it's not. It's just an extreme friction fit. So there's uh, this high wing, which you, you know, you, if you collect RWD, RWB models, you're probably familiar with. And then a classic like ducktail here. So let's start with the ducktail one. Well, unfortunately, the photos are totally wrong because this is a 993 for sure, but the box. Well, the box is mislabeled, or it's the wrong box. I'm going to have to reset the photographs. Hold on. Alright, I'm back here. Uh, it's not the exact same car, but it's a black RWB 993 convertible, so I guess it's going to have to do. Alright, so there's that one. Let's try the side shot. It's a foreshortening. It's funny, right? then the rear yeah so through my research I'm also realizing this thing is missing parts here's an image it's the same car it has the same shape of the placard although this one has different wheels so maybe not but the box is the same and it has two wings but it also has a convertible roof and a tonneau to cover up that interior piece so I'm missing the roof and the tonneau you know, this blister has slots for those pieces, but it's it's simply not there. So, I don't know. Because these wheels are different, possibly this is their very first offering or something like that. I, I don't know. Just, uh, hopefully I'm not missing pieces, but I cannot confirm for sure. Alright, let's take a look at this thing. See what kind of details are jammed in here. Versus a, a Chero Q0 which are pretty nice toys as well. Alright, starting with the wheels. Eh, they're okay. You know, they look like, uh... They're okay. You can see the lug nut details and the perimeter bolts. But something about them does look cartoonish to me. You know, the, they're just not molded with sharp edges. Although I guess maybe this is a specific type of wheel. If anyone knows, you know, is this a specific wheel? And is it supposed to have rounded edges like that? 
There's no brake system that I can see. It's just black back there. Oh, wait a second. I see cross drilling right there. Hold on, I'm gonna have to get a flashlight. I think it's just uh, so far away. Yeah, I am mistaken. Look at that. So, you know, that might actually be a photo edge piece of metal. I don't know, but the the brake caliper at the one o'clock position is black. Let's try the back one. Yeah, same thing. The brake caliper is black and around the one o'clock position. But uh, yeah, the rotor itself is really nice. I mean, the dots of the cross drilling are extremely precise. So that's that's good. All right. So uh, stand correct on the brake rotors. The tires they seem to have good curvature to them. And they're not glossy or anything like that. They look like rubber. There must be some sort of rubbery material. Then you can see this door handle. It's sticking out. And yet, it's got a little recess above and below it. Like, you can grab it. Alright, let's go around to the front here. Well, yeah, you can see all these dimples of the, you know, the fender bolts or rivets. Whatever they're using to hold this on. Wow, alright, so I see a turn signal, and it, it's possible it's a piece of plastic. Let me get a better angle because this base is in the way. I'm trying to figure out. I think those turn signals are clear pieces of plastic, just the way the light moves within it, right? So, I mean, that's better than ignition model. Ignition model tends to paint their turn signals on, right? You also see there's a red tow hook. It's a photo etched piece of metal there sticking out the middle. And then you see this canard. That's a separate piece as well. Maybe it's metal because it's so thin and yet it's painted black. So the grill textures, those I think are also photo etched metal painted black. Yeah, I, I don't think they're part of the casting because it looks like there's a brake right there. So the Porsche crest, let's see how good that, that might be. It's very reflective, so I think the camera's having a hard time. Eh, it's okay, I guess. At least it's got the shape down and some different colors in there, but it's definitely not very real. It's not the same as a real Porsche crest. You can see the headlights now. They're clear lenses. And there's like an impression of some sort of light bulb back there. I'm not sure if that's the actual clear piece going into it. I don't think it is. I don't see a column or a shaft running into the body. So it's pretty good. You know, it looks like a light bucket. So, <laughs> all right, this vent here, uh, it's just smooth. There's no extra piece for a grill. But look at those wiper blades. Interesting. It's molded. It's one piece of photo edge metal, but they joined it, so it's you know. It, it looks like two, but it's actually one piece of metal. So that's pretty smart, actually. You only have to apply one piece, but it looks like two. You'll see the windshield. It is a uh, clear, like sheet plastic, not molded. And then I can feel this lip, so I think that might be a piece of metal painted black and put on that clear plastic to represent the molding. Unfortunately, I'm also seeing here, there's some, I think that's like black Sharpie to cover up some paint uh, blemish or some probably crazy glue or some sort of glue and it was visible. So that was covered up. All right. Oh boy, what's this? That's not good either. Looks like some chip marks. Hmm, yeah. Alright, this side here. Hmm, okay. Nothing, nothing odd there. So the exhaust tips there, they're like painted... silver? Yeah, and I think there's black in the middle. I think those are plastic, just based on their size, and the thickness of them. There's a recess here for the license plate, but nothing, no license plate. And then the taillights are translucent plastic, it seems. Yeah, you can see good separation of the backup lights. 
and there's definitely something extremely reflective behind it. it it looks more reflective than paint I would almost guess that there's a foil sticker behind that red plastic because it's so shiny All right. I'm trying to see if you can actually see the pick through the I think it's reflecting the pick through that tail light so that's pretty impressive that's a shiny tail light the Porsche has done really nice uh, I'm trying to figure out if that's a decal. I would think it's a decal. This is a resin model. It's not a die cast. Yeah, it is a decal. You can see the clear wrinkliness between the letters. All right. So the RWB up there is a decal as well. Interesting how the tail lights are cut in there, right? The over fendering of it. Very nice. So, yeah, the interior, uh, this looks a little rough, you know, so it would have been nice to have a tunnel there. Hmm, not sure if I'm motivated enough to 3D print my own, uh, I don't know. You'll see the seat is crooked, so that's un too bad. There's a rear view mirror, I don't know if that's a piece of metal, how thick is it? Yeah, I think that's a piece of photo ash metal because it's so thin. Look at the edge of it. And so you can see this mirror here. It's got a reflector in it. Yeah, that's a real reflector. Can't get better than that. All right, now the dashboard. Let's see what we can see in there. Hmm, I gotta get some light in there. Wow, yeah, that's a nice dashboard. You can see all those gauges with the, the needles and then uh, molded details for the HVAC and stereo. Steering wheel. Oh, there's some uh, decals here for seat harnesses, so that's nice. What's that in the middle? It's like a black line. I'm not sure what that line in, is between the seats. Oh, it's probably supposed to be the e-brake. It's kind of basic looking. But the shifter looks alright. It's like a black boot and then a black knob on top and look at that gas pedal you know and they're actually bottom hinged like a real 911 so that's pretty impressive I think it's just paint you know I think they're raised surfaces and they're painted silver because they're not painted very well you can see the splotchiness but still unexpected I wouldn't have expected gas pedals in this thing all right so now we have this uh, engine cover slash wing thing. The vent itself has such a fine grating on it. I don't know if that's plastic. It sounds like it's plastic. I don't. I don't know. Could be photo etched metal, but the sound of it makes me think it's molded plastic. All right. So that's the ducktail look right there. Now this is magnetized. So there's the magnet. Right. Super sporty here. There we go. Nice and easy. I like that. Very nice. And so this wing, you know, you have a matte finish on the top top part of the wing. Here, I think that's just all the resin. And look at this. I think there could be photo etched metal pieces in here. Yeah, I think so. They look like separate pieces, just the edge of it, right? that's pretty nice and then on the bottom of that wing yeah another decal so that's pretty good <laughs> alright let me back out of the zoom here so which appearance do you like more this high wing I mean it's a cartoon right it looks even more ridiculous uh, on a ridiculous looking car in the first place this is definitely a lot more subtle you know I kinda like the low wing it, for some reason, I enjoy the subtleness of that versus the over-the-topness of this. But if you're trying to go for ultimate ridiculousness, it's the high wing. All right, but it's blocking the view, so I'm going to put this back on. All right, well, let's put up on the spin thing. Or actually, let's just take a closer look at one of these wheels. I wonder how these are replaced. You know, you have to unscrew the model. But uh, I don't feel like doing that. Alright. 
so yeah there's no lug nut details on, on this set of wheels compared to the other ones which do and then yes it is just a normal hole so oh you know what this is 3d printed I know this because I have a resin printer and you have to put support material so these are support marks so there's a bunch of columns holding this up and then they s twisted them off and so that's what's going on there it'd be interesting if this whole thing was 3d printed possibly but I don't see any support marks on this or they sanded them down well enough that you can't see them anymore all right so I'm too lazy to swap these wheels out I think these wheels are probably actually better because I like to see the the lug nut details okay let's compare it to a couple other uh, Porsches here first let's start with the 164 scales uh, I'll throw up this uh, 911 from 2008 so what is that the 997 all right so that's a convertible here. but the best comparison would actually be an RWB 993 so I have this one and it's made by Fuel Me Models it's the Royal Ocean uh, livery okay now that one's got the high wing on it so let me swap this wing out I do love that magnetic function it's so easy alright you notice the five spokes actually are similar in fact, the wheels on this black cartoon car actually have lug nuts details, which this Fuel Me does not. And I know the real uh, Royal Ocean has lug nuts on their wheels, so it's just sad that uh, Fuel Me didn't get that detail right. Alright, let's try the top view here. Alright, so let's get these out now compared to a couple other cart cartooned vehicles these Choro Q vehicles so the first one is a Lamborghini Miura there we go next one is a Ferrari 250 GTO and the last one is an Aventador I think they're all great. Uh, you know, the Choro Qs cost less. Naturally, I think uh, the fact that these are plastic, but they have a lot of details. But this is definitely a, a level above. Uh, it has far more details. You know, it actually has a brake system, which is impressive. And then the plastic lights front and rear, including the turn signals. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, mirrors that's a big plus and in this case they're actually reflective and then that interior is just as good as most other resin models in 164 scale so pretty nice it has all the details you expect for for the uh, price unfortunately being the most unlucky collector out there this one has a bunch of quality problems uh, I actually bought this locally and I saw the seat was crooked so I got a little discount but I was not aware that it had you know black sharpie on it and chips on the windshield and possibly it's missing pieces like the roof and the tonneau so uh, boy this is another case where I'm not paying attention researching stuff beforehand I see things and they look good and I buy them just to come home to realize you know these problems so I'm sure it's probably happened to you guys but uh, anyways so it's not going to deter me from getting more of these things and I, I know if you collect you watch my other videos on the real scale vehicles you might think I'm crazy buying these things but uh, I like them I, I actually prefer this over a 164 scale model that I don't want you know there's thousands and thousands of regular scale vehicles but I don't need to have all of those because they don't really interest me but I do love Porsches and I do like laughing at at things and this thing makes me laugh it happens to be a Porsche okay well uh, I guess stay tuned until I get the next one thanks